Slytherin's a lucky Water. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there.
A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. looking at us.
We need to break its line of sight somehow. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Revelio. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Akio. You'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Bombarder. <laughs> Defender. Expelliarmus. No! Confringo. Pity. Not quite. Incendium. I won't find him. was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. We're being watched by a door. Accio.
I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. There are bound to be plans around here somewhere. to worry about. Protego! Why can't I hit you? Incendio! I'm fine. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. Revelio! Flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Bombarda! Revelio. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Bombarda! Defendo! Expelliarmus! Protego! Confringo! Is this get us over with? Oh. Not quite. Bombarda! Don't you try again! Expelliarmus! I can do this for us! Defendo! I won't rest! Much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Incendio. Revelio. Akio. Vingardian Leviosa. Lumos. Devil's snare. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Not an entanglement Lumos. we need right now. Lumos! Revelio.
Lumos. Lumos. Bombarda. That should be the last of them, I'll meet. Akio! This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. There must be a quicker way out of here than retracing our steps. You came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed.
Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived and we began to dig eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she'd been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodcock, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl.
I hope Professor Fig... Rebellio. I should investigate. Akio! Devolso! Malin himself would be proud. Revelio. in the heart, if you please. New instruments are expensive, you know. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
Now, I've heard that our dear Clementine drew you into her butterfly escapades. Unusual girl. Still, it takes all sorts. You have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. You're back! I do not know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting.
Revelio. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Gryffindor, over here! Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Gryffindor. Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. say so myself. <laughs> now that's more like it! Made it.
terrifying, if I do say so myself. Wasn't hoping for that. Not to worry. You'll have to do better than that if you want to top my time. This course is all about testing your ability to focus. Each turn requires a decision. Make one, then commit to it. Imelda Reyes, are you giving the competition advice? I wouldn't call it that, no. Just chatter between friends, that's all. <sighs> now, Care to try again? I'm ready. Thank you, Imelda. Of course. Get out there. <laughs> more like it.
That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. <laughs> Not bad for a Gryffindor. You take care of yourself. Ourselves a wizard woman's uh. best friend. Always have been. You're back. Nice to see you again. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then? The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make spint witches the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it. 
Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades. Proved the naysayers wrong. Made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? 
Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Revelio. Now here's Professor Fig. The keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the Headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The Headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the Headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the Headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A Polyjuice Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Do you have a moment, Professor? Pro 
Professor. I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Headmaster? Here? What could he want? You call that a shite? Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to. What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I. You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I've a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. No, it's the headmaster and he's coming this way. Your mouth open? Where are your manners? Professor, mm -hmm. I need to speak to you. 
Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I am happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never have one. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Ah! Professor ah. Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's no doubt in Scrope's mind. Scrope! Oh, a greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course, I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh... I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. <coughs> Tujor Pior. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Depulso. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. 
You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. when I could. I'd be free by now. <sighs> Time is just right. I see a staircase straight ahead. They won't be able to find me if I go up there. While I can, Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them.
Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That door closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. my chance. That's the way forward. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Bombarda.
Crescendo. Descendo. Bombarder. Defendo. Debolter. Predator. Defendo. Bombarder. Defender. Depulsor. Descendo. Bombarder. 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 Depulsor. Descender! Bombarder! Protego! Descender! Bombarder! Defender! Bombarder! finished pass through the mourners ahead nothing is what it seems dear sweet neve <laughs> neve why we won't be the same without her You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory.
Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. And so can... what I did for my father. Only oh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Revelio. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? 
Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. 